Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Asmita from Informatica GCS and in this video we will talk about how to modify Java options for Informatica services on Windows. The agenda of this video is to see when do we update Java options, ways we can update Java options in Windows and then we will see a quick demo of the same. When do we actually update Java options? There can be multiple scenarios where we need to update Java option in Informatica. There are situations when the domain doesn't comes up. In those scenarios, we need to increase the master update time interval and hence we need to update the Java option. Also for heap term generation, we need to modify Java option. In case if we want to change the XMX value or enable GC logging, we need to have Java options being updated. So there are multiple scenarios where we need to update the Java option. Ways we can update the Java options. So there are three ways where we can update the Java options. We can either update in the informa in, into Informatica uh, BAT file which is infaservice.bat which has this infa underscore java underscore ops option or we can add an environment variable or we can directly go and update in the registry entry. So let's go ahead and see the demo of the same. So as we discussed there were three ways where we can modify the infa java options. So the first way is to modify the same in the infa service.bat file. So for that we have to just open this particular file and then find the environment variable which is named as infa underscore java underscore opts which is nothing but info, infa java options. So here we see that this particular environment variable is set and we can modify this using the different arguments for which are used for different purpose. Like I have mentioned here, like in case if you want to enable IA4J, you will have to add this particular argument after this. In the same way, if you want to increase the master DB refresh interval, we have to add this argument in this way. So we will just append this here and then save this file to reflect the changes. You just need to make sure that whenever you are modifying in this file, you have to start your services using this file from the command line. Now we will see another way which is nothing but setting this environment variable in the uh, in your windows environment. So let us see how to do that. So to modify the environment variable, you will have to go to your uh, system and, and uh, go to advanced system settings. And once you go into advanced system settings, you will see this environment variable option. In this environment variable option, you will have to create a new environment variable. And uh, the new environment variable name will be same as infa underscore java underscore opts. And uh, you can provide the details which you want. So I am providing the same arguments uh, which included the master db refresh interval along with all the arguments which were already present. <clears throat> so you just need to save this and then uh, your environment variable would be set and uh, all the properties which you want would be reflected. Now we'll go ahead and see the third method which is updating the same in the registry entry. Sometimes what happens that you want to start your services using the services MSC from here and that is how <clears throat> and in that case is we need to update uh, the registry entry. So let us see how we will uh, update the registry entry now. Okay, So ma to make the changes in registry entry we need to go to our registry entry and go to HK local machine inside that we need to go to system and then current control set and then we need to go to services and in the services we have to go to our informatica process informatica service actually 
so let me go there so in the services you have to go to your informatica service so i'm going into 10.4 and here we will see parameters in that parameters we will have this uh, java option so you can edit that and you will see that it will have a list of the arguments already added so if you want to edit anything and if you want to enable gc or if you want to enable ia4j or you want to increase the master db refresh interval or you want to change xmx value you can do it i am just updating this uh, master update time interval and i'm just just clicking on okay so with that this option would be added in this and your master db refresh and refresh interval would be set to 25 seconds with this we finish our demo session i hope the session was useful for you you can always refer to our knowledge base articles the link for the same is given in the slide also you can refer to our command reference guide the link is given in the slide we would love to hear from you you can write to us on support e videos at the rate informatica.com or tweet us on infosupport thank you so much for your time